Thanks for joining us on this video. If you're new here, I'm Willie. And I'm Sarah. We're a musician and artist and we recently sold our suburban home to move to a tiny, nearly 200-year-old cottage on the Isle of Skye in the Scottish Highlands with our dog, Jack Spaniels. In this episode, I start working with a local cafe and gallery to display and sell prints of my artworks. Also, we explore one of the most beautiful beaches on the Isle of Skye. Plus, I'm back in the kitchen with some locally caught wild sea trout. Join us as we continue. Live in the sky life. It is a rainy, gloomy, cold Monday morning on Sky, and I have just been to the post office to drop off this week's Etsy sales. Thank you to anyone who has been buying prints in my Etsy store, I really do appreciate it. While I'm in the village of Carbost, I'm going to go visit a local cafe. I've been speaking to the owner there about maybe putting my prints into their little retail space. I've got some sample stock to show her, so hopefully she likes what I do and we can reach an agreement and I'll put my prints out there for people to have a look at and maybe buy when they're in the cafe. This is a really exciting development for me. I'm weirdly nervous. I feel like I'm going for a job interview or something, but yep, I'm sure she's really nice, so I'm going to pop in and I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, I'm back at Skylife Cottage now, um, all done at the cafe. That was really good. I met Claire, she runs the cafe and she wants to have a deli sort of food and drink section and also an arts and crafts section. And she is gonna take my prints in there, which is really exciting. So that's the first place I'm gonna get stocked apart from on my Etsy store. She's gonna let me know which prints she wants to stock and we'll display some on the walls. Very happy, very excited. I will keep you posted. <laughs> Something that I really like doing is making my own bread. It just tastes better and you know it's not full of garbage. You get lots of extra ingredients in bread, things like e-numbers and gums and all sorts of things, just nasty stuff that you just don't really want to eat. So it's always better to make it yourself. So I've got a few ingredients, I'll show you. To start with, I've just got a kilo of flour here and all I've done is um, make a pile of it and then scoop out the middle and just push it out. So you get a little reservoir in the middle. The next thing you need is yeast. This is just bread yeast, 21 grams. And then sugar, two tablespoons, approximately. <laughs> One of salt. And then add your water in the center. Now I've got 625 mils here. So just pour that in the center. And now just using a normal dinner fork, take it away from the sides and this will become a dough. What you don't want to do is break the wall because if you break the wall it will go all over the floor, which has happened to me before and is not fun to clear up, not to mention the waste. Just what I said, I don't want to happen, just happened. <laughs> but it's okay at this point now. Uh oh. Yeah, don't do this way, folks. This is just an absolute disaster. Take your time and do it a little bit better than that. But I mean, you get the same result anyway. As long as it doesn't hit the floor, you're all good. This work surface, by the way, was sterilised in advance. Alright, so when you get to this stage, don't need to fork anymore. Get your hands in. start kneading it and try and get as little as possible sticking onto your hands. And you want to work it like this for a while because what you're doing is activating the gluten and making it all stretchy which is what you want. Right, that's lovely and stretchy now. So now you pop it in the bowl and you leave that to rise until it at least doubles in size. Okay, that was about an hour. Let's take this off. And there you go. Some nice wobbly dough. What I want to do now is knock that back and prove it for a second time. I'm just going to get some flour on the board and then start pulverising it again. And what I like 
like to do is cut this into three and put it into loaf tins like these. Let's put a little bit of flour in each one. Cut this into three. Clean film and leave them for about half an hour to an hour again. Okay, they're done. And now you don't want to knock these in any way because if you do, you'll knock the air out. So you put them in the oven very gently and you close the door very gently. If you slam the oven door, that will knock all the air out and they will go flat. Hundred and eighty degrees centigrade for about twenty-five to thirty minutes. Let's try twenty-five first and see how we get on. Okay, that's twenty-five minutes later. Let's have a look. Yep, looks good. Take them out of the tin. Brings back nicely, so it's ready. Number one, two, and number three. Leave them to cool for a little while. There you have it. Lovely fresh bread. Smells amazing. Get a bit of butter on there and give it a taste. Okay, we have a bread taster here. These little bits are for you and this is for me, right? That bit's for me. <laughs> Am I in the shop? <laughs> Who knows? Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's the best bread that I've had today. Oh, mm, yummy. Well done. It's a week later since I spoke to Claire at the cafe. I'm gonna go in tomorrow and put some prints on the wall and set up my display for her retail space. It's pretty rainy outside, so there's not much going on and I thought I would get on with those prints. I've got quite a lot to do. <laughs> need to get printing, I need to seal them all up and make them look really nice for the retail space. So that's what I'm doing today. hours later and I'm all done. I'm all set for the cafe tomorrow. I'm really happy with how they look. So we've got this nice polythene which is all compostable and I've got my little sticker on the back there and I've got a business card in there as well which has my YouTube details and my Instagram and stuff. So hopefully if people like what they see they'll check out my channel and see what I've done. I've got my tools ready for tomorrow and um, I need to find some little wall hanging things which I think are in the buyer at the moment. So yeah that's all done. Hey! <laughs> 
it's a wet and wild Monday today. It's about 11 o'clock and I'm just about to head off to the post office to do my Etsy run. And then I am going to head to Cafe Cool to hang some of my prints up, which is really exciting. Can't wait to show you how I get on and show you the retail space when it's done. Let's go. Interesting. <laughs> Off road and Sarah's wee car. Whoa! Whoa. I'm so excited. You've been here before. He knows. <laughs> we're here in Dunvegan, just north of Dunvegan actually, at the Coral Beach, and we're going to go and walk there now and show you how beautiful it is. And it really is beautiful. We've been here once before when we were on holiday and it was amazing. So we've come back to show you guys as well. Hope you enjoy it as much as we do. We might be joined by two other people. My parents are currently on holiday and they're staying in Carbost. They're very much on holiday mode, so they haven't quite made it out of their accommodation yet, but they might come join us. So you never know, they might have a cameo. Let's we'll see if they join us. If not, doesn't matter, we're going to have fun anyway. <laughs> and they can watch it on the video. Yeah. <laughs> Jack Spaniels is very keen to get going, aren't you, pups? Are we going to go on adventures, Jack? Come on then, go. Run, 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 Jack Spaniels. This is not the Coral Beach. The Coral Beach is a lot whiter than this. Oh look, there's Jack away down there. <laughs> look where he is, look. Come back now, Jack. Here he comes. Was that fun? Come on then. Let's go. The walk to Coral Beach is a fairly easy one. It took us about 20 minutes to walk the mile or so to get there from the car park. It is beautiful all the way along, but the end point is even better. We did see a few other people out today, but it is still pretty quiet. This walk and the car park will be incredibly busy once the summer season kicks in, so we recommend getting here early if you want to visit.
The white sand in the clear turquoise water gives this beach a tropical feel. Although we can confirm that in March the temperature is far from tropical. Well, Jack's off to make some friends. This is the coral. It's not actually coral though. But look at it. It's lovely. We're gonna go up there and see what the view's like. It's probably gonna be pretty cold and pretty breezy at the top there. But I'm sure the view is gonna be worth it. <laughs> You've been up this hill three times so far. Despite the name, Coral Beach is not actually made from pieces of coral. The sand is made from the skeletons of a type of seaweed called merle, which has been bleached white by the sun and crushed by the sea. The seaweed grows out here, on a reef by this small island called Lampe. Who arrived? These are my parents. Hello. <laughs> yes, great to be here. Been to Sky before, but not the Coral Beach, so <laughs> good outing for us. Adventure for all. <laughs> Well that was fun, we enjoyed that and it was great to meet Sarah's parents as well. They've gone up that hill 
We're going to meet them again shortly and go for a coffee, I think. Yep, I think we've earned it. I it's think we have. very cold, very blustery, but so beautiful. We hope you enjoyed that little walk with us just now. Are we in the Caribbean? <laughs> no, we're in Dun Vegas. We're at Coral Beach. Although it's actually not coral, it's seaweed. Seaweed, yeah. We'll have to do more <laughs> into that. By the time we go, we'll be experts on that, so we'll tell you all about it. See those parents have made it to the top. I bet they're really cold. It's freezing up there. The sea eagle just landed out on the point here. I'm not sure if I'll be able to pick it out. It's Wednesday morning and I'm out with Jack at the moment. Today I have some more bits and pieces to take into the cafe that is opening the retail space with my prints in. I've got to take in a little bio about me and some titles for the work. There's a little photography exhibition that's part of it and I think it's formally opening tomorrow. So I just want to make sure everything's right. So I figured since my parents are visiting, they're staying in Carbost, we should probably go and test out the menu in this cafe because it looks amazing but I've not had a chance to actually sample it yet. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go for brunch, me and my parents, and Jack's going to come with us as well. So that's why we're in the woods right now. This isn't where the cafe is, but I just wanted to give Jack a little run around. He can be a little bit mischievous if he has too much pent-up spaniel energy, so I thought we'd give him a little walk and I'd wake up an appetite as well. <laughs> it's so nice out here. It's so peaceful. All the birds are singing, so it's really spring-like. It's so gorgeous in the woods. <laughs> Willie is staying behind because he's got Richard coming over to keep working on the shed. They've been working so hard, bless them, it's been horrible weather. They've had snow and rain and hail and gale force winds and it's just been such hard work for them but they're really doing well so bless them, they just want to get it finished. And I'm sure I can bring them back some treats as a reward for all the hard work they're doing. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Gonna have a chilled out morning and then after that it's back to work. <laughs> What do you think, pups? Is that enough exercise to deserve brunch? Yes, I think so too. Is this for you? 
sit down, please. Wait, gentle. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Café Cool originally started life in Hackney, in East London, but the owner Claire moved home to the Isle of Skye and brought the café back with her to its current location near the village of Carbost. The menu features lots of locally sourced, sustainable ingredients and everything is beautifully presented. You're not getting any of this. No, it's too good for puppy dogs. Well, I'm just back from brunch with my parents, just dropped them back off at their accommodation. The food was amazing. Really highly recommend Cafe Cool if you're coming to Sky, especially to Carbost. I've had my eye on those pancakes since pancake day. So that's probably about six weeks. Really, really nice. And all the food just looked really amazing. And Claire, who runs it, is so lovely. If you are passing by and you happen to go into Cafe Cool, go check out the retail space as well, because you will see my prints in there. Unfortunately, Willie did not get to come for brunch today, but he did get brought some cake. And the review was pretty good, right? Yep. Nicest carrot cake I've ever had. Very nice brownie as well. Really nice. Oh, best carrot cake you've ever had. And you've had quite a bit hey, in your time. Don't tell them these things. Okay, I'm back at the cottage and I've got the fish here and the next thing I'm going to do is get the guts out and then I'm going to fillet them and then I'm going to salt them and put them in the fridge. But I'm not going to show any of that because it's quite gross. So the next time you see them, they will be fillets. Here are the fillets. And I've had to cut some of them in half because that second fish was so big. That's them salted and now they go in the fridge overnight and then tomorrow I'll smoke them. It's the next morning and the fish has absorbed the salt, firms up the flesh and also it helps with the flavour for smoking. So now I'm going to take it outside and smoke it and it's raining so it's not the best time to be doing this. However, it is what it is, it's sky so it's a live show, let's get it smoked. This is my hot smoker and the difference between hot smoking and cold smoking is that you cook the fish at the same time as smoking it if you're hot smoking. That's what we're doing today. Wood chips. This is um, oak and it's about a handful and a half that I use just on the bottom here. Actually, I'll have a little bit more, why not? There's a lot of fish there, so let's put it all in. And then we have this tray here, which goes in the bottom and protects the fish from touching the smoking granules. And then we put on our bottom layer. And then closest to the heat source, I'm gonna put in the larger pieces of fish. They will take a longer time to cook or we'll need more heat. This is probably the biggest sea trout I've ever caught. It's massive. Nice. And you have to keep the skin on or the fish just falls apart. Now for the top layer, which just slots in like this. Now, pop the lid on. I like to have the vent open a little bit, but not much, because I quite like a heavy smoke, me. So here we go. Put the clamps in place. And now we take it outside and we put it on the camping stove for about 20 minutes, I reckon I'll do it, but I'll check it. Let's do that. And we just leave that now to smoke for about 20 minutes and come back when it's done. This is definitely the best place to be when your fish is smoking outside. It's horrible out there. Doesn't seem to be getting any nicer either. 
Okay, let's have a look. Looks beautiful. I'm gonna give it a little while longer. Maybe another five minutes or so. Okay, let's see how it's doing now. Yeah, that's a better color there. That's done. That's come out really well. Looks delicious. I'll just let that cool down now and then take it out and then put it in the fridge. You can eat it like this hot, which is really nice. Actually though, I prefer it cold on some toast. I just serve it with homemade bread and butter. It's really delicious like that. Really simple. Um, you can add things like horseradish sauce if you've got it. That's nice too, but for me, this fresh, I just have it very, very simply. Time to serve. Sometimes simpler is better. Yummy. Delicious. And someone else agrees. You will get some folks, don't worry. But this is for me. Mm. <laughs> Really nice. What does Jack want? What does Jack want? Uh, oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you have to get down, Jack. There are rules. Boy. Good boy, paw. Other paw. High five. Gentle. Good boy. Stand up. Wait. Gentle. Good boy. Is that nice? You like your fish, don't you, Jack? It's your favourite. Mmm. Just as well we live here, eh? As always folks, thank you so much for watching our video. We really hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please do give us a like, a comment, or subscribe to our channel. It's free, it really helps us out, and it just makes us feel really happy. Yes, it does, and it's very cool to do as well. If you wish to support this channel, you can do so in a few ways. You can make donations on Ko-fi, that really helps the channel out, it helps us make the videos, it helps us buy stuff as well. For instance, the buyer. A lot of the materials were actually bought from Kofi donations, so you really have helped contribute towards not just this channel, but our lives massively, so thank you. Plus, keeping him and Richard in cups of tea is very important. We go through a lot of tea. A yeah. lot of tea, yeah. A lot of tea. Or if you want to help us out more long term, you can become one of our amazing patrons over on Patreon, where you get loads of extra bonus content for helping us out every month. Thanks again for watching and... See, see you next, next week! week. If you're wondering how the shed build is going, there'll be more on that next week. We're leaving our suburban life, moving over the sea to sky. Are we chasing a dream? I guess in time we will see when we're living the sky life. Living the sky life. If you haven't already, please do give us a like, a follow, a follow? Are we on Instagram? No. This is YouTube. We're YouTubers, YouTube. professionals. I get confused sometimes. I just got back to the cottage. Uh, Jack is jumping up at the car because I'm still sitting inside. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it this time. This time, why? Why am I saying stupid stuff? Hey Jack, hey Jack, hey Jack. You filming me? Uh-huh. Got a permit for that. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm being pulled down the hill by Jack Spaniels, <laughs> who's desperate to get back in the sea. Where's that nice puppy? Oh, thank you. Or if you want to help us out more long term, you helping us out on a monthly basis. Monthly basis? Month, month, yeah. I was I was hoping that one would slip through the net. If you wish to support this channel, you can do it. <laughs> We're on the phone today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Luke, who wants some? Ah! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got some. That doesn't mean help yourself, Jack. If you click on the left icon, you can subscribe to Living the Sky Life. If you click on the right icon, it'll take you back to our very first episode.